Today, an emotional Mohammed Noor took the stand as he explained for the first time what happened the night he shot Justine Ruschek Damon. He told the jury he never would have become a cop if he knew this would happen. Ruschek Damon called 911 to report a possible sexual assault behind her home in July of 2017. Noor shot her as she approached their squad car. Reg Chapman was in the courtroom today as the defense began their arguments. Reg, we know every day is important, but this is certainly very significant today. It really is, Frank, and Mohammed Noor was very emotional today. He also appeared very nervous. His voice was shaking at times, and he had to be told twice to speak up into the court microphones. Now, for the first time, this jury in the entire world will hear him speak about the 911 call that ended in the shooting death of Justine Ruschek Damon. Mohammed Noor took the stand in a black suit and blue striped tie. He appeared nervous, and defense attorney Tom Plunkett asked him if this was an uncomfortable time for him, and Noor said it is. Plunkett took his client on a trip down memory lane, discussing his childhood and how he immigrated to the U.S. from Somalia and had to learn the language. Noor spoke about moving to Minneapolis to be around other people from his country and the teachers who helped him catch up with his class. Noor says after working several jobs after college, he chose to become a Minneapolis police cadet. He said he always wanted to serve Minneapolis and the diversity. I fell in love with the city and wanted to make a difference. Plunkett then focused on Noor's use of force, anti-ambush, and defense training. Noor explained how he got chewed out during training when he left a live round in a gun. He says training is a safe environment meant for cadets to learn. Noor says he learned from his mistake. Noor also says he learned about officer-involved shootings during training. He said no officer can talk to or interview the involved officer or they can be terminated. Noor says much of his training focused on working with a partner. Noor says he learned action is better than reaction. If you are reacting, it's too late. Defense attorney Tom Plunkett asked what happens if you react. Noor responded, you die. Now, during his testimony, Mohammed Noor continued to refer to Justine Ruschek Damon as the threat. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear more from Noor as he tells the jury exactly what happened when he and Matthew Harity pulled into that South Minneapolis alley. Frank? A lot of people will be interested in that, Reg. Thank you.